Hey Virgo Sun, this is what we got going on for the month of April 2022. If you'd like to make a purchase, you can go ahead and do so at tarotbarbie.com. I got crystal sage incense, personal readings, and much more on the website, tarotbarbie.com. Let's get to Virgos coming in with the Four of Swords, Nine of Swords, and the Chariot card. It looks like you guys have a Gemini Libra Aquarius who wants to be coming towards you guys, Virgos. This person's ready to communicate with you. They do have a lot of love, a lot of feelings for you, but they're really stressed out about you at the exact same time. This person's been losing sleep over you, Virgos. They've been losing a lot of sleep over you. They can't sleep for the life of them. All they do is think about you all day, all night. They can't get you off of their mind. All they can think about is that the love that they had for you or the connection that they had for you here. And they want to come for you no matter what, but they feel like they can't. They're not going to be able to get you back at all whatsoever. Um... Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is going to try and come back for you, but they know deep down that they're not going to be able to. This person was definitely careless with the way that they had treated you, and they know that if they were to come back for you at this point, they're not going to get any victory, Virgos. And this person's carrying a lot of burden at the moment just because of the fact that they can't stop thinking about you. They can't get you off their mind. They're losing sleep on you. They can't eat. They can't sleep. They can't do nothing, Virgos, at this point. Uh, you guys are reflecting on this connection between you and this person and why it had come to an end the way that it did. Regardless though, Virgos, it's creating a lot of burden for this person and it's, and it's a cycle that needs to be put an end to, like just completely end the cycle, Virgos. And the reason why you guys are okay with ending the cycle is just because of the fact that you know this person is manip emotionally manipulative and... They're really destructive and they don't, they're never going to be able to give you the love that you guys are looking for. This person might be even very much so overwhelmed with the way that they had treated you. But at the end of the day, even if they were to come back for you, it's saying like, watch your back with this person. Can't you Pisces Scorpio? This person is a thief. They're a liar. They're a pathological liar as well. They have nothing but bad shit coming towards them too. Somebody here might even end up getting uh, the, 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 the virus Virgos or even some simply just getting sick and it's going to end up hindering this person a whole lot here. They are going to fall into getting ill with the five of pentacles, page of wands and the three of swords. They're going to end up feeling really, really bad. It might be hurting their heart space here too. There might be a child as well who might be getting sick as well, Virgos, uh, with the magician empress, two of wands and the eight of cups. It's saying here, Virgos, that you guys are going to continue to manifest the things that you guys are wanting. You guys are going to continue to look forward, being creative uh, you guys can give birth to absolutely anything, Virgos. Whatever it is that you guys put your mind to, you guys can create it because you're the magician to the empress. You are very powerful. You can have whatever it is that you guys want. And, and if that's the case, then you're not going to be dealing with somebody who can't offer you a relationship. You're not going to deal with somebody who's going to be putting you through cycles and being manipulative and selfish and then only coming to you when they want to come to you. What now? Because they can't eat, sleep, and eat. Whatever the case is, now they want to come back for you guys. Well, well where were they when they were when they were sleeping on you? And they and they took you for granted. You know, for that, Virgos, you guys are going to continue to move on with your life. Eight of Cups. All right, this, you guys might be a little bit confused on whether or not you're even going to be wanting to give this person a second chance or this is going to be this person's energy. Um, regardless, though, they have a lot going on. They have a big decision that they have to make. They don't know who it is that they want to give to. This person was definitely very much so toxic, breadcrumbing you the whole nine, Virgos. And you guys just don't have time for low vibrational energies to be coming in your way at all whatsoever Virgos you guys just don't have you guys just simply don't have uh have it in you to be dealing to be dealing with this shit at all all right um uh, it did cause you a lot of heartache here as well but at the end of the day you guys are coming to your own power you're coming to you're coming to understand who it is that you guys are what your worth is what you should be fighting for and what you shouldn't be fighting for. If this person is going to be a trickster, if this person is going to be a trick, if they're going to be emotionally manipulative, pathological liar, then what are you guys going to be giving your energy towards this person? And for that, you're not Empress Energy. You're sitting in your power. You're going to continue to move on forward with your life. And that's the end of that, Virgos. You guys know that this person can't give you anything at the end of the day. At the bottom of the deck, you got the Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, and the Emperor card. Ooh, Virgos. All right, you guys, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, who might be feeling stressed, overwhelmed, thinking too much, a whole nine here, sweeties, as well. And, you know, they might have to move on with their life with the three of wands to the hierophant there as well. <clears throat> I don't know why, Virgos, but I'm getting the energy that there's like a group of people that could potentially be doing magic on you guys at the same time. But eventually they're going to have to move on with their life because it looks like everything that they're doing to you. They're stressing themselves out and God is in charge at this point with the Hierophant. These people are going to end up begging God for mercy for what they may have caused you. Somebody here got also be put in a three-party situation where somebody here was dealing with a married man. It's saying that this, these people here, 
the married man is going to have to beg for mercy with God for the way that they had treated their wife or the way that they had even put you in that third party situation. Just like that reading that I did for you guys the other day, how that husband or the wife is going to have to beg for mercy for even going outside of the marriage and 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 being a coward and, and awakening the love of you and not being able to give you the love that you're looking for. Yeah, Virgos, these people are going to have to beg for God for mercy, like literally begging God for mercy to Hierophant. See those two people? They're going to have to beg God for mercy for what they've done. One person is going to have to beg God for mercy for even getting involved in a married couple with a married And then, at the, then the married person has to beg for mercy for even putting, being a coward to the one that they got involved in that. And then has to beg for mercy for putting their wife or their husband in that position. It's very fucked up. It's a very fucked up energy. Two people are going to have to beg for mercy at this point, Virgos. It's two people on the bottom, Hierophant there, that's God. They have to beg God for mercy for what they have done, all right? It don't, it don't look good, Virgos. At the end of the day, there could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius who's going to be speaking up to a Queen of Cups. You, Queen of Cups, it looks like you're going to be defending this Emperor here, too. Uh, this Queen of Swords is going to be speaking her truth to this Queen of Cups, but it's saying, like, yo, what your sword is super high up. On somebody who's very loving and sweet and nurturing, you better put your sword down real quickly. Like, yes, you are going through a lot of shit, but at the same time, this Queen of Cups has, doesn't want nothing to do with it. And they just would rather just move on with their life and let God deal with it at the end of the day. All right. Yeah. No, this Queen of, this queen of Swords is super fucked up, super stressed out, ready for battle, on guard, very much so defensive, stressed out, overthinking, paranoid, the whole nine Virgos. And you guys might be looking at this person like, what's wrong with you, Page of Swords? You guys got you guys got a Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, <sighs> an Emperor, a Taurus, an Aries, a Libra. All right, who is definitely spying on you at the moment here, Virgo? This person is it's like gang stalking shit for whatever reason. All right, you guys got this person there. They're spying on you a whole lot here, Virgos. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person is spying on you. They're curious about you. They're wondering what's going on with you at the same time. But you guys might be coming very much so defensive with the Seven of Wands. You guys are absolutely protected, Virgos, because you guys are very much so smart. And the and justice is going to be coming into your hands at the end of the day. These people are going to be watching you, spying on you, investigating you, looking for you, whatever the case is. This person is may even have somebody else doing their dirty work for them with the King of Wands, the Page of Sword energy. But they're definitely investigating. Uh, you guys are going to continue to stay protected, continue to defend yourself at every given time here, Virgos, with the Ace of Pentacles and the Jessica card. Because you guys are always so smart and so intelligent, you guys are always going to be 10 steps ahead of anybody who's going to be trying to do this shit towards you guys. Yeah, Virgos, because you guys are the Ace of Swords. You guys, the sword is right up. You're going to cut off anything and anybody who's at a low vibrational energy coming with the Queen of Wands to the Strength card, Leo energy. These people are going to be getting karma for what it is that they've done to you too. You guys are also going to be stepping into your power at the same time, Virgos. You're not going to let anybody hinder you, harm you, hurt Hurt you in any way shape or form you guys are as wise you guys are intelligent you guys are going to win your victory you guys have justice in your favor here as well and you guys is your guys's clarity is clear as day virgos if the sky is blue the sky is damn blue virgos it's not no black gray white no 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 it is what it is at the end of the day and you guys are seeing the truth for exactly what it is you guys have a lot of people who are competing with you fighting with you lots of drama there's going to be an aries leo sagittarius who's going to be absolutely blocked during the new moon energy this person yeah virgo somebody here's going to end up being blocked with the new moon energy somebody here also doesn't know what the hell's going on either with the five of wands and the two of sword energy there's a group of people and this person here might potentially think that these group of people are are fighting with them competing with them or whatever the case is yeah you might be right same group that you had that you was dealing with is the same people who are going to be attacking you straight up virgos that's why you need to always know what the fuck is going on but this queen of wands will will definitely know what's up uh at the end of the day you guys have a pisces who wants to come towards you this person's calling judgment on the situation between the two of you guys they know that they fucked up on their relationship and they know that they should have been more investing in you this person might be waiting for your text message because they have a lot of love and they find you beautiful and spirit is most likely going to bring this connection back towards you if this person can get their shit together with the knight of cups seven of pentacles they know that they were very much so selfish with you. Be careful on this person's energy, Virgos, that they're only not that they're not going to only be with you just because of the fact that you might be business oriented, that you have a lot of money, that you're harvesting, that you're manifesting, you're doing your thing. During the month of June, 
going into July, your manifestations are going to be coming up. So you planted a seed back when, you guys are going to see the stem, the leaf, then you're going to see it bloom. So just be aware of that, Virgos, all right? Uh, you guys have a lot of selfish people in your energy, Scorpio energy here as well. This person might be very selfish, but whatever goes to the end, it comes to light. Whatever is done in the dark comes to light, Virgos. Um, <laughs> Five of Swords, you guys have a lot of people who are jealous of you as well. And they're just going to continue to see you be happy no matter what, too, Virgos. So expect communication. These are going to start picking up a lot more faster for you. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, this person wants to come towards you at this point, all right? You guys' work is moving a lot more faster, but you guys might be a little bit upset about it, too. Just because you guys are having to take care of yourself and also heal yourself. You guys have an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius is hoping that they can build a connection here with you guys. Hoping that they can heal it too. But if they're going to continue to be a bachelor or a bachelorette, you guys are going to be really disappointed with this person. Especially if they come in quickly to try and put in the work and the connection. And then all of a sudden, like, bloop, bye, right? You guys are not going to want that anymore. Four of Cups, Nine of Cups. Yeah, because this is something that you would have wanted. But if they're going to continue to put you in a three-party situation, you're not going to want nothing to do with this person, Virgos. All right? It's saying that this person needs to start being a little bit more patient, too, and start healing themselves on a whole other level. They need to heal their child self as well uh, in order for them to get the happiness that they're looking for. You guys have a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, who's going to be reaching out to you, Virgos. This person sees you as so beautiful, independent, self-sufficient, happy. You're good on your own. You don't need nothing from nobody, and you don't need nothing from anyone, Virgos. You can get it. You're a go-getter. You can do everything on your own. This person's very much so attracted to you. Do expect a message coming in from a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, uh, high priestess energy. So this is going to be coming into the future, Virgos. And this person is going to be missing you a whole lot. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is going to be taking action to come towards you. But you guys are going to be very well aware of when this person is going to be coming for you. Because you guys' intuition is on point. And yeah, Virgos, okay? You guys have new beginnings that it's going to be coming towards you. Expect a message coming in from a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person it feels so hurt. And so butthurt, Virgos, for the way that they treated you. Now they're in their feelings. Now they're sad. Now they feel like they, they know that they fucked with your energy. They know that they fucked with your life here with the Ten of Swords energy. Now they're feeling bad about it. They're missing you so badly they want to go back to the past. Wherever it was that they had ended up, they weren't happy there. So now that they're missing you, they want to take action to come back for you guys. So at the end of the day, this person could be going through a lot or they're just balance, trying to balance out more than one thing at one time. But they know that they hurt you really badly, and uh, for that, uh, it doesn't look like they're going to be able to get a second chance here with you. You guys are going to control the situation, and the ball is literally in your court, four of pentacles. So for that, Virgos, you guys are not going to be opening yourselves up in this connection and hang men because you guys, some of you guys come from prophecy here too, so your intuition is going to be on point. You guys are going to be getting downloads. Maybe some of you guys even... Um, uh, telepath Virgos, okay? Some of you guys are telepathic when it comes to this person's energy, and you guys are always seeing 555444. Uh, at the end of the day, they are going to try and come towards you, hoping that they can heal the situation as well. But because you guys are sitting in your power with the Queen of Pentacles energy, you guys are going to continue to stay hopeful, blissful. You guys are going to continue to stay grounded. You guys are going to continue to stay focused on what it is that you guys are wanting in this life. And uh, I do see a lot of stagnated energy, Virgos, especially when it comes to this connection with this person. If they're not able to get it together, then I don't see you going to be jumping out of your chair or your throne to go towards this person at all. But they are going to be coming for you, Virgos. Uh, Pisces, Aquarius energy here too. Um, this person hurt you really, really badly. And you guys have healed from it for sure. Just be aware that if you guys are going to be letting this person back into your life again, there could be potentially that this person is going to hurt you again, Virgos, because of the fact that they're juggling way too many things at one time. So maybe this person is not, This maybe this person is uh, emotionally unavailable, right? And you guys are looking for somebody who is, in fact, emotionally available. So if this person is that, you're not going to let them back into your life. Thanks, cuties. Bye.